about 65, I believe. Going about 65? Yeah, 60, 65. Okay. I'm sorry. You know what the speed limit is here? Uh, like 50. Like 25. Welcome to the John Legato Show. I'm John Legato. It's showtime, folks. It's showtime. Here's Johnny. We all love Deputy Frank Sloop, and uh, I haven't visited with him for some time. I call him the smooth operator. So let's hit the road and ride the highways with Frank. Paper, what'd you have to go to court for? Uh, uh, for that thing right For what? For driving a while ago. For driving? So you've been stopped for driving without a license before, and now you, you just keep doing it. Did you tell him to drive that car? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Do you know that he doesn't have a driver's license? Yeah. Oh. You literally you can't even make this up. So what's the big deal about driving without a license and having your father allowing you to do it? Let's explore some statistics on car accidents. There are in excess of 5 million accidents in the U.S. each year, and 35% of all fatal accidents are caused by drunks. You literally you can't even make this up. You, you can't make this up. So I'm going to write him for not having a license. I'm going to tow his car because he can't have it. I'm going to write Dad a citation for telling him to drive that when he knew he didn't have a driver's license. Hello, sir. Hi. Why were you driving like that? Back right there. I watched what you did. No, I know. You also have a brake that functions in this vehicle, right? Yes, sir. So you didn't have to race in front of him and cut him off and then hit your brakes. You could have simply just applied your brake yep. and let him go by you, yep. right? Yep. But did. you didn't, and you decided to travel at a criminal amount of speed, the speed limit here is 45, to get in front of him and then road rage him and slam on your brakes the second that you got in front of him. Is any of that incorrect? Every 17 hours, someone is shot during a road rage incident across America. So this is the bullet hole. In fact, just last year, more than 130 people were killed after tempers flared behind the wheel. The driver with the dash cam... What the f wanna do, bitch? ...appears to brake check in a legal move in Florida causing the tailgating driver to allegedly bump him from behind. The sports car driver speeds past, but a short while later, they meet up again. And this time, the driver with the dash cam claims the driver of the sports car threatens him by allegedly flashing a firearm. The dash cam driver then unwisely decides to call his bluff and follows the allegedly gun-toting motorist, which prompts the sports car driver to send a second, much clearer warning. But this driver is also toting a weapon. And when the other motorist appears to pull the gun a third time, this driver does the unthinkable. The driver takes his hands off the wheel, aims at the silver car, and fires four rounds through his windshield. Many auditors and sovereign citizens believe that police should not enforce traffic law, and that would lead to anarchy and daily shootouts on the highway. But Frank the Cop got this road rager off. And you decided to travel at a criminal amount of speed, the speed limit here is 45, to get in front of him and then road rage him and slam on your brakes the second that you got in front of him. Is any of that incorrect? No, yes, I did slam on my brakes. He was back there flipping me off, moving on me. That's why I passed him. Okay. And then I moved back in, and you're absolutely right. I slowed down, but you I slowed down. Okay. Clear. Come on. I did not brake okay. check him. I didn't go hard. But, but you did. You right. cut in front of him, and well, then you applied your brakes. I moved when I knew it was safe. I was way. I didn't cut anybody off. I didn't do anything aggressive, but I did apply my brakes. And, and, sorry. But I'm the passing sorry. movement was aggressive. 
because it was at a criminal amount of speed. I was hoping you could have seen him flipping me off. See your driver's license. So I'm Deputy Slope, I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. The reason I stop you is for aggressive slash reckless driving, criminal speed. And Frank's day includes spoiled teenagers who shouldn't be driving at all. So when you cross these two giant signs that are as big as the windshield of your car, when you cross between these, you have to be going a limit of 35 miles per hour. 56. And tinted windshield. Oh, really? What's up, man? How you doing? That's actually not true. See your driver's license. What did I do? Let me see your driver's license. Hey, hey, me. Mom, come, I'm getting harassed. Don't touch my car. Getting harassed? What did I do? I wasn't speeding. I was following my mother. Okay. So do you know what? Do you know what? Let me see your driver's license. What was I doing? I'm not going to ask you again or I'm going to put my hands on you. Let me see your driver's license. Dad, can you come here? I have it. Stop. Just give me my... There we go. So, posted doing? speed limit. Um, well, you're in public, so there's no expectation of privacy. No, there's not. There is not in public. So you're in a, so you're in a, I uh, I, did I say run anything? Okay, can you just off instead of being a like you're being rude for what? What, what about, what about, what have I done that makes me rude? Uh, you're, yeah, I'm not just, I'm not talking. Okay, let me see registration, current proof insurance. So I'm Deputy Slope, work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. The reason I stopped you is you were in a 35 mile per hour construction zone at 55 miles per hour. How many other cars? I don't think so. I don't care how many other cars were there. I've actually heard that defense from drug dealers when I caught them. They said, everybody's selling drugs. I mean, as Frank said, you can't make this stuff up. The reason I stopped you is you were in a 35 mile per hour construction zone at 55 miles per hour. How many other cars? I don't think so. I don't care how many other cars were there. And then you also have a tinted windshield, which is also illegal. Um, so I need to see registration, current proof insurance, please. So my, my, I bought my car like this. Bye. Okay. Can you just like stop hovering over me? Or? No. And our final car stop before the excuse section of the video is with a wannabe sovereign citizen. Not a good one but I want to be. See your driver's license, please. Yes, sir. Can I ask what you pull over for? Absolutely. As soon as you see your driver's license, I will be very happy to tell you. That's not how it works. If, can you tell, first of all, what's your name and your badge number? I'm sorry. I do this for a living. You don't. I tell you how this works. Let me see your driver's license, or I'm going to pull you out of your car and arrest you for failing to provide ID. This is a legal request. I don't want to hear any other words out of your mouth except here's my driver's license. Please give me your driver's license. My name is... I don't want your name. I want a physical ID as required by Arizona law. I am asking you when I'm getting pulled over. I will tell you as soon as I see your driver's license. Okay. I will gladly give you my license. All right. Well, I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. The reason I stopped you is you're traveling 71 miles an hour in a posted 45 mile per hour zone. We also see registration and current proof insurance, please. All right, kind sir. Can I have a contact phone number for you with an area code first, please? Sure, absolutely. Okay. Well, all the supervisor. No. No, you can contact one by phone. But if I'm requesting a supervisor, you deny You can. I can give you the contact phone number yeah. for the sheriff's office. Absolutely. It's area code 520-866-5912. Five, nine, one, two. Yep. Do you normally, just a couple questions for you. Do you normally threaten to pull people out of the car just for them asking why they got pulled over? 100% yeah. when they refuse to provide identification like a, you did. But isn't that a secondary offense? Arizona's not a stop and ID state. Um, like I asked you why I was being pulled over. That's over, correct. And you didn't want to tell me until I use it as a predecessor. That's you correct, because I need to know who I'm talking to first. There's an, and sovereign citizens use it as secondary crime. I, there is no such thing. What they're talking about is that there's a secondary crime scene. For example, if you rob a bank, that's the primary crime scene, and the getaway car is the secondary crime scene. Uh, the crime is speeding. There is no secondary. There's no predicate. You speed it. 
Do you normally threaten to pull people out of the car just for the mask and why they got pulled over? One hundred percent. When they refuse to provide identification, like a, you did. But isn't that a secondary offense? Arizona's not a stop and ID state. Um, like I asked you why I was being pulled that's over, correct. and you didn't want to tell me until I use it as a predecessor. That's you correct. Because I need to know who I'm talking to first. Well, hold on a second. Go ahead. Her civil rights and laws. Okay. And unless I am being arrested. Or unless I'm being well, a, failing to provide you, failing you, to you, provide oh, evidence of identity is a criminal offense. No, it's a secondary offense. Doesn't matter. It is, it's it an offense. Matter. It doesn't. Officer Stoop, if, if you want, if you will let me speak, and then I'll let you speak. Is that all right? No. You don't want to let me speak. No. Okay. No, I'm not here for a back and forth. Uh, well, this isn't I talk and you talk. So goes the new SOP for all police officers encountering order. Quote: This is an I talk and you talk. Touche, Frank. Well, I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. Can I see your driver's license, please? Why are you crying? Is there any reason that you and him are driving like that? So let's get to the excuse part of the program. Is there any reason that you and him are driving like that? Because that's... Like, the, he pissed you off. Is any of that incorrect? No, yes. So he says that you were doing some sort of like swerving and flipping him off was there was there anything no. like that he was behind me i know i know i saw him he came up behind me and he flew right behind me and mm -hmm. almost hit me as he went by i i saw that also so i just wanted to run him down and in front of him okay I'm Pro sorry. probably not a good idea I know, I know. right I now know. now as you sit here I got and PTSD. okay i'm oh, sorry you know what the speed limit is here uh, like 50? It's like 25. Really? Yeah. I thought it was 50 on this road. So you don't have a driver's license? Uh, no. And you're driving? I was driving for my dad. I don't. So when my red and blue flashy flashy lights are on, you can't be in this lane. You have to give me the ability to get out of my car and come up here and talk to you. Okay. Now I'm not going to write you a ticket for this. So if Deputy Taylor already took care of business, we'll we'll leave you with one citation today from the Pinal County Sheriff's okay. Office. However, know that you have to move over for us. I'm from California. We just moved out here. We well, haven't paid your registration on this car in almost two years. Yeah, I have registration. I just have to put this in. No. See driver's license, please. I don't have one. I'm just trying to pick up a coworker to get to work. I pulled out from Johnson Ranch, and I'm a little bit late for my class, which means no I can, reason for any speeding. I you were less than one car length from the bumper of that SUV that was in front of you. There was not an SUV in front of me, sir. It was a minivan. You're going to get a criminal citation for driving while your license is suspended. Okay. It's been suspended for like six years. Probably something you need to take can care of. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. I've been paying all my fines, paying all that. What else can I do? can get your license renewed, you can slow down and stop making excuses. You know, after uh, doing this video, it occurred to me that Frank has the perfect demeanor for police work. He's like the person who tells you to go to hell and makes you glad you're on your way. The John Legato Show is being broadcast from outside the gates of Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune in Butte, North Carolina. Please like, subscribe, and hit the buttons. Semper Fidelis.